something from nothing. All right, you ready the story of mine? Oh, it's a wonderful story, an old Jewish folk tale. And it goes like this. Yeah, sometimes when I do the story, since a little boy is wearing his hat, <laughs> when Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's on sight and it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Joseph said, Grandpa can fix it. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he says, as the scissors went snip, 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 and the needle went in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside and played. So as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunk and it's and the fits you all. It's time to throw it out. Joseph said, Grandpa can fix it. <laughs> grandpa, Joseph's grandpa took the jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he says, the scissors went, snip, 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 and the needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore his wonderful vest to school the very next day. As Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, Look at your vest. It's spotted with blue and it's painted on a tube and side to Throw it out. Joseph said, Grandpa took it. Joseph's grandpa took the vest, turned it. Yeah. Hmm, he said, the scissors went. Yeah. And the needle flew. Yeah. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. But Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie, the big stain of soup, the stand of a troop, it's time to throw it out. Joseph said, Grandpa can fix it. And Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he says, his scissors went, and the needle flew. In and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make, what do you think? And small each time he goes. A wonderful handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Joseph used a wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's torn, it's splashed, and it's spattered. It's time to throw it out. Joseph said, <laughs> Joseph's grandfather took the black handkerchief and turned it around. Hmm, he says, as the scissors went, <laughs> and the needle flew. There's just enough material there to make. What do you think? The black. A wonderful black. Joseph wore his wonderful black and spent his to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, where is your black? Joseph was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph and his, ran down to his grandfather's house. My button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother said to him, Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he says. A spamming scratch, 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 scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.